Welcome back to Circles Off, your go-to channel for sports betting education. I'm Rob Pizzola, professional sports better. Today, we're diving deep into the world of baseball betting metrics. Now, understanding these advanced metrics isn't just a nice to have in your betting toolbox. It is mandatory nowadays to keep up when wagering on America's favorite pastime. So let's jump right in. Whether it be from fantasy baseball or just your general love for the game, everyone's familiar with the most basic of metrics batting average, on-base percentage, ERA, whip, and so on and so forth. And while these metrics appear on every single baseball broadcast, there are other advanced metrics that we can use that provide more context to the game. First up, we have Weighted Runs Created Plus, or WRC Plus for short. Now this stat measures a player's total offensive value adjusting for external factors like the dimensions of the ballpark and league averages. A WRC Plus of 100 is considered league average, with each point above or below representing one percentage point above or below average production. The difference between WRC Plus and more traditional hitting stats is that this stat credits a hitter for the value of each outcome rather than treating all hits or all times on base equally, like batting average or on base percentage. A home run should be worth more than a triple, and that should be worth more than a double, and so on. This is a powerful tool for evaluating hitters and predicting offensive performance. Now let's talk about BABIP, or batting average on balls in play. This metric measures a hitter's batting average solely on balls that are hit into the field of play, excluding home runs and excluding strikeouts. BABIP helps identify whether a player has been particularly lucky or unlucky with the balls that they've put into play, offering insights into potential regression or improvement in performance. It can also potentially be misleading though, if you just always assume that someone with a really high or really low BABIP will regress towards the average. Truth be told, I could probably do a 20 minute video just on this metric alone. And if you're gonna dig into something that really, really might uncover some hidden edges when betting on baseball, this could be the one. But understand that defense, luck, and overall talent level will also have an influence on BABIP, and those need to be accounted for. Moving on to the pitching side of things, let's focus on fielding independent pitching, or FIP for short. This metric evaluates a pitcher's performance based solely on the factors that they can control. Strikeouts, walks, hit by pitches, and home runs allowed, while removing variables like fielding and luck. FIP provides a clearer picture of a pitcher's true skill and is valuable for assessing future performance. Now, FIP is certainly not a perfect metric, and there's always going to be some pitchers who have the skills to allow less runs than their FIP would suggest. Think of pitchers who consistently induce weak contact, for example. But even though the metric is imperfect, it's a useful tool in predicting future performance. Using this metric in unison with some other pitching metrics, like XFIP and Sierra, could also be extremely valuable. Moving on, we have Ultimate Zone Rating, or UZR, UZR for Americans, a defensive metric that quantifies a player's defensive value by measuring their ability to convert balls into play into outs. Now, UZR considers factors like range, arm strength, and errors to provide a comprehensive assessment of a player's defensive prowess. When you're betting on baseball, understanding defensive capabilities can be just as crucial as evaluating offensive skills. Some of the best baseball bettors that I've ever come across in my life have told me that their edge in betting baseball comes from evaluating defensive performance better than others in market. Alternatively, you might opt to focus on defensive runs saved, or DRS, another valuable defensive metric. DRS measures the number of runs a player saves or costs their team compared to the average player at that same position. A positive DRS indicates above average defensive performance, negative DRS, below average defense. This metric is essential for evaluating defensive contributions and predicting team success. Whether you wanna go down the UZR or the DRS path, it is important to be looking at something that gives a better representation of defensive value than something like fielding percentage. And there you have it folks, a crash course in some advanced baseball betting metrics. Incorporating these stats into your handicapping process can give you a significant advantage in the sports betting world. But at the bare minimum, they're required to be on the same level as the best baseball bettors on the planet. And remember, this is just a starting point for you. There are countless metrics that provide additional context to the great game of baseball. As always, remember to do your research, stay disciplined, and may the odds be ever in your favor. 
Thank you for tuning in to Circles Off. I'm Rob Pizzola, and until next time, happy betting.